Welcome to Present Truth Broadcast with Pastor Maxwell Ogaga. Brought to you by Present Truth Ministry, a teaching ministry where believers are trained to be established in the truth of God's Word. Praise God. Let me look at two examples of, a man, of men who started small. Go to Psalm 78. Verse, I wanted to check the accurate pronunciation of this word while I was studying and I forgot. Psalm 78, verse 70. He's talking about David. Praise God. Are you still here? Psalm 78 and verse 70. Verse 70. Thank you, Lord Jesus. He also chose David his servant and took him from the sheepfolds. He took him from the sheepfolds. One of the things you find out about David was faithfulness in little things. And what did God do? The scripture says God took him from the sheepfold and made him a ruler over his people. So that means that David did not start from becoming a king. David started from leading sheep, his father's sheep. That's how David started. Now, when I was studying the scripture, I realized something. Go to verse 71 and then. So the Bible says that David, God took him from the sheepfold and made him the shepherd of his people. Now, I want, to go, I want you to go to 1 Samuel 17. There's something I, find out, I found out about this that I want to share with you. 1 Samuel chapter 17. Go to verse uh, verse 15. First Samuel chapter 17 and verse 15. But David occasionally went and returned from Saul to feed his father's sheep at Bethlehem. This is interesting. Now you realize that at this point, David was already playing for Saul. Right. David was already playing for Saul. Now the Bible says occasionally, David will get back and return from Saul to feed his father's sheep at Bethlehem. Now, go to verse 28. That's the verse I'm actually looking for. Go to verse 28. You remember this, this was the time between Goliath and Israel and the whole battle. Now Eliab, his oldest brother, David's oldest brother, heard what he spoke to the men and Eliab's anger was arose against David. And he said, why did you come down here? This was when David was asking what would be done for the man who killed Goliath. <laughs> and I like that. I like, in those days, man, it was beautiful. He says, they're going to give him a wife. The king's going to marry the king's good daughter. That's going to be bright price free. And then his father's house is going to be liberated from taxes. And David saw all those benefits. And man, he went after Goliath. Boom. You know, some of the battles you conquer are the things that are going to give you the victory you're looking for. Some of us are trying to run away from Goliath. We still want free wife and not to pay tax. It won't happen. If you want a wife, kill your Goliath. Are you following what I'm saying? Want to get married? Learn to make some income. Praise God. I said praise God. Even though we're saying in the days of little beginning... It's good to start small with your wife. I shared our example. It's not also, you don't also now live in abject poverty and then you want to bring someone to enjoy that season with you. Well, conquer that season and then go talk to someone. Praise God. 
Because there's no need also, you understand what I'm saying? If you want to get hungry all, all day, just stay hungry yourself. Don't bring someone to share your hunger. Because if you're faithful in the days of little beginning, God is going to commit much into your hands. And if the days of little beginning are stretching for too long, something is wrong with your attitude. I believe that if you stay faithful, God will reward you. I believe that. Praise God. So if things have been stagnant for a very long time, you need to drop down your pride and ask yourself questions. Am I doing the right thing? Am I learning the right lessons? Because even the wilderness has an end. There's Canaan. Praise God. Even though God led them through the wilderness, <laughs> some people got to Canaan. Amen. So you should always have that at the back of your mind. Now, look at what he said. And Eliab's anger was arose against David, and he said, this is where I'm going to. Why did you come down here, and with whom have you left those few sheep in the wilderness? So it means the sheep David was taking care of were not so much. The Bible says they were few. But you know what? David, David was faithful over those sheep. Is that what few I want you to pick? The sheep of his father that he was looking after were not much. Sometimes the things that God will put you over will not be much. Maybe it's your father's business that doesn't look so much. Why don't you pick it up? Maybe your father had a shop and uh, when you go inside, in, inside the shop, the things there are so few. You, 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 you say your name, it repeats it back to you, meaning that it's, it's more empty than it is filled. It looks like there's no life there, but stay faithful. It was a few sheep that David was looking after. It wasn't much. We always want to be put over much. But faithfulness in little. This is a characteristic we need to develop in our lives. Now listen, God, you've put me here. I'm going to be faithful in it. You've put me over this few group of people. I'm going to show up and give them the best. Don't use where you are now just as a stepping stone to the future. Stay faithful there. Are you following what I'm saying? I can't hear you. I said, are you following what I'm saying? Stay faithful. Stay faithful without school. Stay faithful without job. Stay faithful without assignment. Don't have a quitter's attitude.
This broadcast is made possible by friends and partners of Present Truth. To become a partner, please call plus 234-805-888-7575. God bless you. Pastor Maxwell's messages are available in over a dozen books and a thousand audio and video formats. Purchase this title and other titles by Pastor Maxwell Ogaga. Please call plus 
know you've been blessed by this telecast. To become a partner, please call plus 234-805-888-7575. Pastor Maxwell's messages are available in over a dozen books and a thousand audio and video format. To purchase this title and other titles by Pastor Maxwell Ogaga, please call plus 234-805-888-7575 or send us an email, office at pastormax.ng. Also available are free downloads from www.thepastormax.ng. God bless you.